Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Python Gurukul. Today we'll be talking about how to create group test suite in PyTest. And then we'll be exploring how we can run some selective test cases. We'll see in detail how we can group the test cases on the basis of directory, module, marker, and classes. And then we'll see how we can run some subset of the test on the basis of directory, module, function, class, method, or test matching pattern, or with the help of marker. So we got lots of things to talk. So let's keep moving. I want to showcase this image. And in this category, we are just saying that maybe of some type of some similar type of test cases will go to chapter one and so on. If you want to take a look at one of the test suite library in the CH1, we have two modules, one and two. We can explore one of the module and then we can see that these modules have test cases and those test cases are something like test something, something and something else. So the, the, these were a different category with the directory, module and test cases. So now we can add some marker and it is very simple to add the marker by just saying at the rate pytest dot mark we are going to add one marker and this particular test case belong to smoke we can have another marker dot mat so these two test cases belong to one category these two belong to smoke so these are the different way we can have um, different marker we can add and have the test cases so the last category we talked about classes, we can create the class and inside the class, we can have different test cases, very similar test cases, the one we saw before, but this one is different that they are part of the this test, uh, test class. And then they are part of the class, so they are method and then they are self. So we are just saying that these some selected test cases belongs to test equality class. They are similar in nature somewhere. So, so now let's change the gear a little bit and talk about how we can do the selection. So once we are done with the test development while running the test cases, we want to run the test cases on some selective method. Maybe out of the five, we want to run only one, two, three. Or maybe out of these nine, we want to run one, two, eight. So to do these kind of selection, we have to use any of these mechanics. Maybe we want to run all the test cases from directly. This is one of the simplest way of running PyTest. If you don't know anything from where to start, then just say that PyTest and throw out some directory name. It just goes to the directory and directory and start looking for any function, method, class, which has the test cases. And then it will start showcasing that. Here we can see that I just thrown on the chapter two and it is exploring everything. These are the modules. These are the classes. And then it's just going through the, all the classes and running the test cases. Even we can see that how many test cases were found in this particular module and so on. Uh, commonly run command is pytest and then the module name. So in this particular run, we want to run all the test cases which belongs to test module. And selecting one test from the module. So we will be just saying that module the way we gave in the previous one but the, this one is a particular powerful tool which is going to give that from this particular module look for this test function and then we can see that we are running testbook.py <clears throat> from there we're looking for test equality this but so this is the module from this module only we want this particular test case to be run Moving further, how we can run all the test cases from a class? <clears throat> Very simple. Just give the name of the module where we have defined the test class and then give the name of the test class. Another level, we can say that from that particular 
class we want to look for one test method and we can do the very similarly the way we did for module we can say module name class name and then the method name and the one is very interesting we don't have to worry about anything just say that look for pattern in the test case name the test case it looks for a string which has something like matching a string if it matches it will be just filtering everything another thing to highlight for these kind of selections we will get this line very clearly saying that how many test cases we found how many were deselected because they did not match the criteria and then these many were the one which matches the criteria and the last which is very important we'll be learning the marker in the special chapter but for now just say that by the help of the marker we can run the selective test cases just saying that bring all the test cases which has marker smoke and then we can see that out of three one was deselected two was selected and then we ran the test cases so first we'll start with running the test cases from the directory i'm not worrying about anything just saying pi test some directed name and just run everything whatever it has so this chapter one had these many test cases in it run from there get another example where we saw that how to run all the test cases from the module so we are just giving path of any of the module and we are saying that just run all the test cases from that module this module happened to have three test cases and then we are just running the test cases this is also very straight simple one let me bring another one from this particular module we want to be selective this time and only want to run the test which has name test equality so out of all these test cases only one was selected and that's passed we can say that run all the test cases from this particular module and run only the test equality so let me see if we have module let's bring all the uh, the all the test which belongs to test equality and that's what we are doing here we are giving the name of the module and then we are highlighting test equality and this is going to bring all the test cases here in this particular example, three test cases were selected, two passed, one failed, and that's what we had. From this particular test class, we want this method. Um, pattern one. So we are saying that from this particular place, we just want to run the test cases which contain EQ. So out of seven, three were selected and three were run and the region of to run that test class book let me bring here and this is what we said go look for this module and in this module anything matches eq eq just run all the test cases so it did the search in all test cases here and it found in three of them and Let's run, run those three test cases, one failed to pass. So similarly, we can do some more, like maybe we want to look for all the test cases, which are the dictionary, test letter dictionary, seven item, five selected, two selected, two run. So any string we can just pass on and look for the test cases and run the test cases of the matching. So let's go and take a look at the marker one. This is one of the very important one and always being used. We are saying, look for the test case, test module, test directory, anything, and look for the tag smoke. Let's run this one. I've marked these two test cases with the marker smoke. One with the map. So now we are saying that in this particular module, run all the one marked with smoke. And that's what was run. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and say that run all the test cases which is marked with mat. 
and then we can see that it was able to pick only one test case ran and that's what we had one test case and that's all i had for today if you like my video please don't forget to share and subscribe thank you for watching